Is this sweater too white? Because I am very white. And I don't want it to look like I'm naked on the internet. Nobody wants that. I have been beating myself up lately. I cut my knuckle while grating cheese. I just sliced it right off. Never found the skin. Someone probably ate that. I cut my hand open and it was just bleeding everywhere. Yesterday, I fell down the stairs. I slipped and just went boom, 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 boom. I landed at the bottom and hurt my hip like a tiny, frail old woman. Actually, check this out. I got a giant bruise right on my ass. But that is not what this video is about. So 2016 for me is the year of creating. You know, as a host and commentator in pop culture and sports, I feel like I'm always talking about cool things that other people are doing. I'm always talking about, oh, this really cool movie that this director made, or oh, this really awesome video game that this video game maker made, developer, we'll say. But you know, I have a lot of talents and things I'm passionate about, so instead of always talking about what other people are creating, I'm going to create myself this year. I'm going to do, do the creating. Do, go forth and create. A great way to kick that off, you guys probably saw me tweeting about it, I got to collaborate on a Miracle of Sound song. The genius behind that is Gavin Dunn, he and I used to be brethren on The Escapist. He was doing, you know, Miracle of Sound, I was doing Top 5 with Lisa Foils. And he's just the coolest guy and insanely talented. And uh, we were talking one time and I'm like, man, I really want to sing on one of your songs. And he's like, I really want you to sing on one of my songs. But he said it way more Irish, because he, he's Irish. And we finally did it. I got to sing lead vocals on Edge of the World, which is a song for Rise of the Tomb Raider. We got awesome, awesome response to that song. Everybody loved it. But the funniest thing to me is how many people were just like, oh my god, I had no idea that Lisa could sing. I actually started singing way before I started acting. I've been trained in classical and Broadway and pop and rock and uh, even opera. I took many years of opera lessons. I tried country singing for a while. Turned out to not really be my thing. I wasn't country enough, apparently. I used to sing the national anthem for like the Dodgers and the Angels and the LA Sparks and for charity events. Uh, I used to just go around Southern California and just like perform shows, just like sets. But I never really talk about it and I don't upload songs that I've sung in the past because the content ID gremlins of YouTube will just take it down. So all of this singing talk led a lot of people to ask me, Hey Lisa, what other hidden talents do you have? So let's do it. Lisa's Hidden Talents. In my camera viewfinder, there is no line between my skin and my sweater. I just look like a big, like, snowman. Okay, Hidden Talents. Um, oh, I can do this with my tongue. That's not very impressive. Okay, along with singing, um, I'm also a national champion tap dancer. I've been tapping for like 20 years. Uh, I've won over like 200 first place trophies, which my mom has kept all of them. Why, why, what are you, why are you, what are you gonna do with those? Kevin just invaded the studio. I'm gonna have to kick him out. I'm gonna have to kick you out. I'm a ballerina, I danced ballet with uh, members of the Cuban Ballet for three years. But whatever, you guys already know that. I mean, clearly I'm flexible from my drunk stretching video. I'm actually an incredible foosball player. Actually, specifically, an incredible foosball goalie. It's actually like my nerdy dream to join like a foosball league and just tour the country kicking people's butt at foosball with a team name like the Foos Fighters. I pity the Foos. Wake me up before you go, go. That one's not as good. Instruments. I used to be able to play the alto saxophone. I don't think I can do that anymore, actually, so scratch that one. I can play a little bit of piano. And bass guitar. And I can play piano upside down. Okay, move. Yeah! I know all the lyrics to the Where in the World is Carmen Sandiego theme song. Well, she sneaks around the world from Kiev to Carolina. She's a sticky finger filcher from Berlin down to Belize. She'll take you for a ride on a snowboat to China. Tell me where in the world is Carmen Sandiego. Still, I saw I can't cook to save my life, but uh, I make phenomenal apple pies, which is really, they're like really complex. I'm actually pretty good at baking all around, but pies are like my specialty with like the lattice and everything. Yeah. 
I might be some kind of animal whisperer. All of my pets can high five. High five. Yeah. High five. I can ride a motorcycle. I had a Suzuki Bandit 600 for like two years. I can sew. I took sewing lessons for a few years and I've made a couple of my own outfits and mostly cosplays. I've just, I've sewn those together with like scraps from Goodwill. I can't draw or paint, uh, but I'm pretty good with Photoshop. <laughs> Actually, I did paint this wall. So that's all. Um, like and subscribe and all the things that I always forget to tell you to do. And But most importantly, uh, go listen to Edge of the World, our Rise of the Tomb Raider song uh, that Gavin and I made together. It's awesome! Okay, bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want more vids, be sure to subscribe because, you know, my channel, it's pretty awesome. You want to be part of this.